In this video, we're going to find terminal points for really large values of t, okay? Um, so if you'll notice in all three of these examples, uh, t is either much greater than 2 pi or it's much smaller than uh, negative 2 pi, okay? So for these large values of t, uh, first thing we want to do is find a coterminal angle, and we're going to do that by adding or subtracting uh, 2 pi over and over again until we get between 0 and 2 pi. All right, now once we have that value, that coterminal angle that's between 0 and 2 pi, we're going to determine a reference number, okay? Like we did in a previous video. Uh, if you need to go back to do that, it's how to use reference numbers to determine terminal points. Uh, you can search for that one. Um, if um, Once we've found a coterminal angle uh, between 0 and 2 pi, we're going to figure out a reference number. Uh, to help us find the terminal point associated with uh, these values of t, okay? So, again, remember, uh, to find coterminal angles, uh, we're going to subtract in this case because this angle is positive. It's much greater than 2 pi. Uh, we're going to subtract 2 pi repeatedly until we get between 0 and 2 pi. So, one thing we need to think about, think about 29 over 6. Think about that ratio, that fraction, okay? It's almost 5 pi, okay? 30 pi over 6 would be... 5 pi. So we're just shy of 5 pi, okay? So what that means is we're going to need to subtract, okay, I'm going to put these graphs in here so we can use those. We're going to need to subtract 2 pi um, from this 29 pi over 6. Well, if I just do it once, okay, notice I've already converted it uh, to have a common denominator. 12 pi over 6 is 2 pi. Well, if I subtract 29 pi over 6 minus 12 pi over 6, I have 17 pi over 6. Well, that's still too big, okay? We're not between 0 and 2 pi yet. So I need to subtract another 2 pi, all right? And what that's going to get me to is 29 pi over 6 minus these would combine to 24 pi over 6, which would give me 5 pi over 6. So 29 pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6 are coterminal. That means they have the same terminal point, okay? Well, 5 pi over 6 is going to be right here, okay? So if you'll notice, my t bar is going to be the distance between 5 pi over 6 and pi, all right? So t bar is going to be 5 pi, excuse me, 1 pi over 6, okay? Uh, remember, t bar has to be a positive value between 0 and pi over 2 because we're going to reference these points here, okay? Well, pi over 6 is my t bar. That leads me to this uh, value, okay? We said 5 pi over 6 was in quadrant 2. So I'm going to use radical 3 over 2 and 1 half, but in quadrant 2, I should know that the x is negative, okay? So instead of radical 3 over 2, positive 1 half, it's going to be negative radical 3 over 2, positive 1 half, okay? All right, stop the uh, video here. Uh, try B, try C, and then come back and check your work, okay? All right. So 17 pi over 3, again, that's a positive value. So like up here, I'm going to subtract 2 pi until I get a coterminal angle between 0 and 2 pi, all right? Um, so subtracting 2 pi again to get a common denominator would be 6 pi over 3 this time. Well, that gets me to 11 pi over 3. Well, that's we're not there yet. Let's subtract another 6 pi over 3, and that gets me to 5 pi over 3. Well... 5 pi over 3 is between 0 and 2 pi. If you'll notice, let me scroll down just a little bit, 5 pi over 3 is right here in quadrant 4, okay? So that's a value we can use. So 5 pi over 3 is here. So t bar is going to be the distance from this point back to the x-axis. Well, that's going to be 1 pi over 3. So t bar is 1 pi over 3, okay? That's going to lead me to this ordered pair, 1 half radical 3 over 2. I'm in quadrant 4, so the x is going to stay positive, but the y is going to become negative, okay? So positive 1 half and then negative radical 3 over 2 in the uh, fourth quadrant, okay? C, negative 25 pi over 4. Because this is negative, I'm not going to subtract 2 pi this time. I'm going to add 2 pi until I get between 0 and 2 pi, okay? So... Common denominator, 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi, so this is the, the, the version or the representation of 2 pi I'm going to use here. Well, that gives me to negative 17 pi over 4. Well, I'm still negative. Let's do it again. That's negative 9 pi over 4. 
All right, negative 1 pi over 4. And then that should get me to 7 pi over 4. So I actually have to add 2 pi four different times here uh, to get a positive value for t between 0 and 2 pi. All right, well, 7 pi over 4 is this location right here. Okay, so t bar is the value or the length distance from here to the x-axis. Well, that's going to be 1 pi over 4, which leads me to the ordered pair radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2. I'm in quadrant 4, just like I was in B. So the x is going to be positive, and the y is going to be negative. All right? So with exceptionally large values for t, you have to find a coterminal angle first. All right? And that's going to lead you to uh, a point on the unit circle that we're comfortable with, that we're, we're familiar with. Then we're going to determine what our reference number is, t bar. And then that's going to lead me to uh, one of these ordered pairs, okay? Again, if we've got a denominator of 6, 3, or 4. If we have other denominators, then it's going to be a little different. But these are the special values that we're going to use in trig for quite a while. All right, there you go.